What's good team? Welcome to another Small James Coding Tutorial where today we're going to be talking about how you can protect your secret keys in an Express and Node.js server where a protected key might be something like an API key and we're going to protect them using env environment variables. The classic example, a bit of a blunder, is let's say you're writing some server code and you know you have some API keys or other secret keys that cannot be exposed to the public eye and you push your code to a public github repository and expose them to the world and then everyone can just absolutely abuse your authentication token and you know there can be all sorts of implications so in this particular example we're going to look how we can protect our keys in our code so when we push our code to a public github repository all your secret keys are protected and no one can go stealing them off you now obviously there's a whole lot of other applications of the same concept hiding keys but in this example, we're just going to be using the humble API key for this tutorial. So here I have a simple express server set up and I can start it by running npm run dev. So now our server starts up on port 8080 and I can test that it's working because at this particular endpoint, basically what I do is I read an API key from the query parameters and I turn that into a message console on the server side and return it with a 200 status as the message. So here we can simulate this HTTP request, send that request, we get a 200 response and the API key is secret code. We can see that that's what I set it to just there. So now let's say for example, I wanted to have something like a secret key is equal to James is cool, for example. So then what we could do is we could change our code to say if API key is not equal to secret key, then we can just return a res.status403, so that's a forbidden status, and we can send a different message that just says your API key was incorrect. And let's say we even just send them the API key, just like that. So now when I run the same request, you can see that we get a 403 forbidden response and we get told that our API key was incorrect. Now, as far as systems go, that's all well and good, and we have prevented someone from making this request. But once again, if this code was in a public GitHub repository, you know, that can have all sorts of great applications. For example, if you want other people to contribute to the code or you just want to have open source code, suddenly they can just look through our server.js file and see that the required secret key or the API key is James's call. And then they can just copy it, paste it into their request, push send, and now their request goes through and they've essentially invalidated our authentication implementation. So the solution to our problem here is multi-part. The first is a beautiful package called .env. So I'm going to type npm install .env just like that. And now that we have that package, we can require that package .env just like that and call a config method to configure it in our server. And the second thing we're going to do is create a .env file to store our environment variables in. Now that we have that, we can run our server again. And inside of our .env file, I can have API key equal to the value or whatever I want it to be. So this is the secret code, for example. So it's just key equals value. You can have multiple ones of this. So I could have API key two is equal to a banana muffin, just like that. And now what we do is in our server.js file, since we've configured it to read environment variables, we could say const secret key is equal to process.env for environment variables dot whatever the key is that we're looking for. So I was looking for API key as I've named it here. And this will read this value and associate that value with this variable that I've defined just here. And so now I can remove it from this code just here. And so now this code will check if the key in our environment variables is equal to the one passed through in the request. So in the request, we're still passing in James is cool. The required key is this is the secret code. And so if I run this again, we can see that now we get an incorrect API key. Just to triple check that this whole thing is working, we could also just quickly console.log secret key. And we can now see that the secret key is in fact read correctly. It's not getting anything undefined. 
And so as I mentioned before, you could just save as many secret keys as you wanted to for whatever configurations you have to set up in here for anything that you just don't want the public to be seeing. The last thing we need to make sure that we do is define a .git ignore, just like that. And in here we have to make sure that we add our .env file because you could very well just end up pushing this file to your public GitHub repository, in which case people could just go ahead and read the keys from this file instead of straight from your server.js. And so we just have to make sure that it's ignored from the GitHub repository so that it never gets pushed to the GitHub repository. And when you go to host and deploy these applications that require these, these environment variables, there's often a method to set the environment variable once again in the deployed application. That is if the .env file is insufficient. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's how we can protect keys in our Express Node.js servers. This concept applies to a lot of different frameworks. Most have their own way to read environment variable keys. But yeah, ultimately we just wanna keep keys secret inside of environment variable files and make sure that we don't go dogging ourselves and exposing ourselves to the hacker man. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and sub. Consider hitting the notification bell and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.